Nation, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, you're still welcome. So today we are at the Oregon Zoo and I decided to vlog for you guys because I wanted to show you all the cool parts of Portland and there's like a whole museums and like so many things around here. But today we're just gonna go to the zoo. So I'll take you guys along with us. Let's go. <laughs> As soon as you walk in, there's like a whole animal right here. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. These are like those mountain goats that can climb up these rocks because they can climb on the corners. But he's chilling. Let me see what it is. Look at this. So pretty. Oh, look. There's more. Look at this one eating with us. There's more over here. Well, this one is pretty. Yeah, I was telling them that this is these mountain goats that can climb the, the side of the rocks. Yeah. All of them. So cute. Ew, he's pooping. Disgusting. Yeah, they're like, so I was showing them, they're like little books and stuff. And there's like this little cave. This, this zoo is already so cute. Oh, thank God that's fake, because I would have cried. <laughs> we thought there was nothing in this section, but then if you look over here, there's a whole bear. Do you see it? There's like a whole grizzly bear, and he's like walking around. Hey, grizzly! It's not a grizzly. So then what is it? It's a black bear. What's the difference? They're not. The, the grizzly bears are brown. <laughs> oh. Well, he doesn't want to be in the sun. He wants to be in the shade. So... Bear. Oh my god, there's more bears. <laughs> He's just really chilling over there. Oh my god. Hi. Mm -hmm. So cute. It's art. It's a little scary, but cute. <laughs> Yo, we just we just walked by this family and they were like <laughs> <laughs> the, the wife was like, honey, everybody else is wearing masks. And he's like, the official mandate says, the official mandate says you don't have to wear a mask. I was like, oh. <laughs> so funny. Anyway, what's here? So again, my love-hate relationship with zoos begin because we're looking at this eagle and he's in this tiny cage. Look at them. This is, this is the, the eagle and this is the cage he's in. Like, it's not even that tall. So it's like, I just feel bad for him. I'm like, he wants to fly away. Ugh. One thing we notice about this zoo, which is pretty cool, is that, what are you saying? Everything is below you. So like, for example, the bears usually go to zoos and they're in front of you in a glass. But in this zoo, they, they, pretty, they basically made everything, all the roads up and you just look down. And so they're all in their they're in their space with no glass. Yeah, I mean it's easier to so see. They can't like jump up into a tree or whatever. But I think that's brilliant. This is where things get serious. All that water. Oh, fish. Oh, look at that big fish. That's a huge fish. Whatever that is. Yeah, this water, you can like feel the water. It's like, it's dripping. It's dripping. Yeah, you're getting wet kind of. Oh, there's that big fish. You can see it clearly here. Look at that fish. That's huge. What is that? That is huge. What is it? These are all salmon. Yeah, types of salmon. Yeah, this is like the aquarium portion of the zoo. I just realized that this is eels. Like, they're all just like on the side, chilling. But they're moving. That one is moving. Oh, they're moving. That's so creepy. That is so weird. 
Yeah, they buy the water. Look at these. Hmm. None of the otters are in the water, but they're all hiding in this little little thing. What are they all doing here? Are they sleeping or something? Like, what are they doing? Yeah, they're tired. They don't want to be in the sun. That's so cute. We've made it to the cougars. And he's literally out and about for us to see. Hello. Wow. <laughs> Look at him. You know what I think? I think cougars' faces are so much like, they're so beautiful. You see how small his face is compared to like a tiger or a lion? Like, they're like cats. Yeah, they, they look like cats, but they're just big. Like, I mean, they're all cats, but you know what I mean. Bye. He got closer. What? He came up here to say hi. He's like, okay, goodbye now. I am a cat. Somebody finally realized. <laughs> this is where you can see the bears from the bottom, but this is how usual zoos are. Like, there's glass and you can never see anything because the bears are always hiding. But because we were up there, we could see the bears, all of them, because we were higher up. Yeah, so this zoo is fantastic for that. Like, they know what they're doing. Anyway, we're going to the condors of the Columbia. Yeah. My disappointment comes again because this poor bird is stuck in this tiny little cage. He can't even fly that high. Like, what if he wants to? Oh, there's another one over there. There's three. One over there. One over here. Oh, yeah, one over there. Poor bird. What is this, though? The condors. Condor. It's kind of ugly, but. It's a mouse feeder. Oh, turn your face. Oh, look, that one's about to fly. He's spreading his wings. He's trying Soar. to get out of here. Soar. Weave. Weave. Uh, oh, I thought you said we. No, weave. This is the family farm now, and these are like little goats. And when we were in Africa, literally, like, this is people's backyard. They just have goats in their backyard like this. But they're all here. And then I think there's something in there. Let's go. So there was a guy who just spoke to us. I'll insert the picture here for like 10 minutes and he taught us all about condors. I'm not gonna bore you with the story, but he was so nice. Anyway, this is the farm. Um, this is kind of for children, but you know, take a look. What is this? They got a whole train. I'm so dead. Okay, about to get some pictures here. Smile, take that mask off just for a second. Wow, look at this beautiful place. Wow. As we were walking, we saw this. It's this it's the veterinary medical center. And I know that every like animal place has one. Like I'm sure SeaWorld has one and like all zoos or whatever have like vet centers on site. But I like how you can see it like it's like a part of the zoo. Like, you know, like it's not like hidden somewhere. Like you can tell they take care of the animals here, you know? The volunteer that we just spoke to, the guy I was talking about, so super nice. He knows the animals. You know, it, it was just nice. It feels like, I mean, I, I don't really like zoos because, like I said, encagement and stuff, I feel like it's too small for the animals, but they care for them here, which is nice. I feel like a lot of the animals here, like they adopt them if they're injured. Like, for example, he was talking about the corridors, the condors. And like one of them has like a disease, so like that's why they're here. They're not just like they caught yeah. them in, the, in their fresh of their prime and put them in the zoo. So I can kind of lessen the hatred for enclosed spaces because I, I know that they're doing it for like their own health. Their health, yeah. Oregon Zoo. One be okay. Yo, this tour guide is hype for what? She was like so hype. Anyway, there's a whole pole over here, so. I know. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's huge. Where's the water? But I was gonna say that, where is the water though? Must be over there. I can kind of lessen the hatred for enclosed spaces because I, I know that they're doing it for like their own health. All right, back to hating zoos because so look at this pitiful water. What? Hold on, let me go around. There's nothing in there. Oh, this is pathetic. Okay, you saw that polar bear, right? He has this all this grassy land, which is great, but this is all the water he has. Are what you serious? Is this? This, is, this is not enough. They like, literally are supposed to be in Antarctica. The hell is this gonna do? <laughs> this is not enough. Like, what is There's this gonna a do? Bit of snow over there. Oh my what god! Is what is enough? that? Is that supposed to be snow? This is why. This is the reason. 
Okay, I, I hate zoos again. Goodbye. <laughs> this is seals and sea otters, and the water is beautiful. Yeah, I have to go to the aquarium. And here he is. Come down, little guy. I want him to come down. Oh, there he is. He's coming down. <laughs> wow, look at him. Yeah, they have a lot of water. This is like huge. Hi. <laughs> he smiled. <laughs> yep, this is an entire forest they got over here of all different types of fish and starfish and whatever. This is literally Animal Crossing. This is right in the sea. Right here. Yep. They got that little thing. And then this is like literally a tree and the fish is in the tree. This is like... This is hilarious. Oh, look at that. There's like a fish that's on the rock. You see that? Why is he just on the rock like that? Hello. Powerful hunter. Lazy little boy. <laughs> He's not gonna get up. All these animals are way too hot. They're like, oh. I'm just gonna be in the shade. Goodbye. We found a store that's actually open because every store in Portland closes at one o'clock. So, wow, it's open. Woohoo. So, Kimberly said the coffee place was dirty. So, instead, we're gonna get ice cream. And they only have fruit flavored ice cream. And I am the most basic person in the world. So, I only like vanilla. So, Kimberly's telling me to try something new. If I hate it, what are you gonna do? Oh, give it to the lion. Oh my god. I'm gonna try the. I don't like strawberry ice cream. I know that. So I think I'm gonna try blueberry and see what it tastes like. Okay. Kimberly got hers. What's it taste like? Am I tasting now? Yeah. It's good. It's really good. That's good. Not gonna lie. This looks kind of dirty. Oh my god. New flavors, new flavors. I really want to ride this carousel, but I think you have to pay for it, and I'm not paying for it. So let me see how much the tickets are. Okay, this is three fifty, and I'm not paying for that. Goodbye. Aww. Penguin behavior. There's so many of them. I guess penguins are easy to get, but they're like all not trying to swim. Oh, there's birds in here too. <laughs> trying to make it realistic. It smells really bad, honestly. All of this setup for a chimpanzee that is not here. Look at this day though, isn't it a beautiful day? Like, wow, look at the sky. Maybe it's over there. Okay, so they should be over here, but look, they have these little like sitting -y thingies. What is this supposed to be? Hammock or something? Whee! Oh my god! <laughs> Do you see my legs? My legs like flew up. Okay, I'm gonna have my butt wait. Oh, oh this is nice. This is nice. Chill in. Woohoo. Yo, okay, I'm gonna be here. Go, go do the zoo. Facts. Look, go do the zoo. You know where to meet me. By the chimpanzee. To get a mask, to get a nap. There he goes. My little friend. All right, we're heading over to Elephant Land. There he is, little elephant. Oh snap, he's like really playing with this thing. Oh, crazy. Kind of break it? He already did. <laughs> he's so bored, he wants something to do. Oh, he can use his tusk and like play with it. Move it? Yeah. He's getting ready. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so cute. He's so cute. Ah. What? He's so cute. What the heck? We got an elephant come over to this side. He's swimming. Look at him. This one's kind of old. Yeah, because he has like a lot of hair and stuff. But he's drinking water. Oh my god, it's, it's laying right there. Right there. He's like, oh, he turned around. 
Oh, you're beautiful. Wow. Hi, precious. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Oh, this one, you can see the head now. Hi. He's literally just a cat. He's a cat. He's like a little, I want a cat. Oh my God. He's tired. He's trying to sleep. Extremely fast. Yeah, it's a cat that's really fast and can kill you. But look at him. This one is like, not today. Not today. It's a lemur. Oh boy. Look at him. He's running, this guy. Run. Come on, don't stop. Mm, as you should. This gazelle is so pretty. Gazelles really are beautiful. She's like so peaceful over there. Doesn't care about anything. There's the giraffe over here. There's another one over there, but he's obsessed with the gate. I don't know what's wrong with him. Weirdo. What are you doing? Freak. Anyway, but <laughs> he's um he's chilling. He's like he's watching him. He's like, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> like bro i think you lost it today yo. yeah he's like it's not that hot man like go get some water i had to get a chip anyway look at these you got your little, little fish and then boom look how scary that is it's like mouth open i think it's sleeping yeah the eyes open and they just closed so i think he was like sleeping but his mouth is wide open ready to eat yeah, he's camouflaging so people don't see him, so he can eat. But little does he know, he's in the zoo. All right, so we are leaving the zoo. It was a really nice zoo. Yeah, people it's a were really right. Nice zoo, I have to say. Oregon is a very nice zoo. Um, I hate zoos uh, because I feel like animals need a little bit more space but i think this zoo did a pretty good job and they show here that they actually care about the animals there were several hospital volunteers and a whole vet hospital on site so i thought that was really nice um but if you're in oregon and you want to check out the zoo feel free because i think it was a really pretty zoo um but that's the end of the vlog thank you guys for watching i'm like out of breath because i had hot cheetos but uh, i hope you enjoyed this vlog and nomination i will see you in the next video Bye.